Hi everyone, it's Julie from Mini Kick Ass Chicks, and welcome to the January 20th edition of This Week Next Week. Now, since most weeks I have a balloon for you, I actually have two. Uh, a little backstory to both. <laughs> so, let's start with the uh, least impressive one, I guess. Um, a while ago, when I first started making balloons, one of my first parties, I guess, was my cousin's daughter. And they live on a farm, and I thought it'd be kind of fun if I made like a farm animal balloon. I was looking for a one balloon, simple farm animal, and the only one I could find was a pig. Everything else took more than one balloon. So I tried to make it, and for the life of me, I could not. I still can't. I can make the body, the face, no problem, but it's the nose. The nose is... Okay, if you guys have a dirty mind, you know, chill it, okay? <laughs> but the nose is called tulip twist. And you take the part of the balloon that you tie the knot, and then you hold around the balloon like this, and then you push the knot into the balloon. And, and then you pinch, and then you twist, and then you pull, and it leaves like a little indentation in the front of the nose. It's really, really cool. But I can't do it. I pop every time. I've tried cutting my nail down. I've tried, um, oh, I've tried a whole bunch of different things. Putting something on my finger, like a, an oil or something. <laughs> I don't remember what it was, but it was kind of gross. And um, <laughs> shut up. And no, I just, I can't do it. So I gave up on my pig. And today I was having fun twisting my first balloon, and then when I was done, I was like, oh, I feel like I was twisting another one. And one of the Christmas parties this year, a little boy came to me and asked me for uh, Winnie the Pooh. I do know Winnie the Pooh, but he takes a lot of time to make, and he's made of multiple balloons. And I thought, well, you know, maybe I'll try to make one that just takes a couple balloons. Well, that didn't work either, because you can't make a nice Winnie the Pooh <laughs> with only two balloons. But I made, I tried a different nose just for fun. And there you go, it was a pig nose. It wasn't as cute, I guess, as the first one, but I'm, I'm happy with the way it is. So what do you guys think? This is the, the pig, and that's the nose. It's a little crooked, but that's the nose that I came up with. And yeah, he's got the fat body and the little tail. And I think he's adorable. I'm happy with him. You need to practice on the dimensions a little bit. But anyways, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it that way, because I can do this without cursing and popping like hundreds of balloons while trying. Hundreds, but anyways, I'm going. There's my pig. Now the next one, I was chatting um, with Marcella, the bookaholic cat, last night on Twitter. I'm always chatting with Marcella on Twitter. I mean, like every day, almost every day, almost all day. <laughs> I'm surprised she hasn't unfollowed me. Yet. But no, so we're chatting, and then last night, I know it doesn't come across this way, Marcella, when it's typed, but I was like, oh, I need a balloon for my vlog tomorrow. And she said, what about a monkey? Monkey! I haven't made a fancy monkey for you guys yet. I think I'm in my basic one. Um, but I haven't made my fancy monkey. Or I didn't actually have a fancy monkey. <laughs> so, I saw her looking online trying to find some. I didn't like any of them. I like parts and bits and pieces. So I just decided, you know what? I'm not even going to use the internet. I'm just going to take out a bunch of balloons and some scraps and go from there and see what I get. And um, I'm really happy with what I got. Here's Marcella. Here's your balloon. Here's your monkey. So there's, of course, the body, and I love the tail. It's one full balloon, so it's 60 inches long. And, uh, of course, every monkey has to have a little butt. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Ooh, uh, I like him. So there you go. I'll take a picture of that and eventually put it on my website. Ugh, I really need to work on my website. Anyways, thanks for the suggestion, Marcella. That was a good one. I need to, I need to think of more. <laughs> All right. So there's that. Now, books. Uh, to talk about the blog this week, I have two giveaways going on right now. The first one comes from my Authors After Dark featured author of the week, Jessica Jarman. She's giving away two ebooks from her backlist. Click on the widget. And uh, did I get the slide right? That would have been impressive. <laughs> and the other one is from Anne Marsh. What a lovely lady. I've never actually spoken to her before this week. She emailed me asking if I wanted to uh, pop a giveaway up on my blog. And my Thursday post was kind of a... I could scrap it, I could bump it, I should say, and uh, so I did, and um, yeah, the book, the excerpt, I asked her for an excerpt, and uh, she gave me an exclusive one, and uh, good choice, she sent a few, and that was definitely the, the best one, but they were all good, I'm definitely reading that book, <laughs> it's, uh, it's Dark Bond, and uh, coming out on uh, January 31st, so I'll definitely be reading that, and probably reviewing it sometime in February, <laughs> because I review pretty much everything I read. But no, she's a lovely woman, and I'm you know everyone should buy her book because she's really nice. <laughs> so, so those two are going on. Um, 
the Jessica Drum one is ending on Sunday, and the um, Anne Marsh is ending on Monday. And next week, my featured author, as I mentioned last week, is Kelly Metting. So her interview is posting on Wednesday. And she has a book coming out the week after, also on the 31st. Um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, I, um, I was reading it. I actually have about 12 pages to go. So I'm really hoping that I don't have to do this in too many takes because I want to finish the book during that time. But I love this series. And I, I find the characters, like Evie, really grown or something in this book. I can't put my finger on it. But I really like her character in this book. I love her all the time. But there's something just more about her this time around. And Finn, oh, I like Finn. <laughs> and Wyatt. Oh, Wyatt. No, it's just this. I don't know. And you know what? Yes, it was pretty gruesome like it always is, but it's almost like it was a notch down. Although, you never know what might happen in those last 12 pages. But really excited. No word yet if there's going to be a fifth book. Keep your fingers crossed that everything goes well with this one. Um, that way there's a chance that she should get another book out. And I hope so, because there's things that seem pretty well tied up there, but there's always a the couple little things that would be nice to find out what happens next kind of thing. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm really happy with that one. So that one, that review is coming up next Friday. And on Tuesday, I have my review for Undeniably Yours by Sharon. No, Shannon Stacy. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, cute book. A lot of people were warning me before reading it. Oh, be careful. It's so different from the others. But I liked it. I liked Kevin a lot. Beth? I liked her, but she was just about to get on my nerves. Like, well, actually, she's kind of got on my nerves, but she was just about to get a smack, I should say. And then all of a sudden she... So I think she reached my threshold and she changed right before it. <laughs> so, anyways, it was a cute book. And uh, four stars and reviews going up on Tuesday. Now, what am I reading next? Next, I'm reading... What am I reading next? All right, Threat of Death by Jennifer Eastup. It's a little novella that happens after Spider's Revenge, and uh, before the next book coming out next month, and um, yeah, so that's going to be a short little thing, so hopefully that won't take me all weekend, <laughs> it might though, but you never know, and then after that, well, I'm still waiting on a bunch of books, all of my books are coming from Penguin now, the ones I'm waiting for, and they are like my next, like, three, four reads, and they're not here yet, I don't know, everything's kind of slow there lately, so I'm hoping to get them next week. I was kind of hoping to get them this week, but hey, what can you do, right? And uh, so if, if they come early next week, then that's what I'll be jumping in. Otherwise, I think I'm actually going to be able to jump into the second book in here, The Sweetest Thing, which I'm, I'm looking forward to. So, But I don't know. So yeah, another big mystery, big question mark. Notice how I'm not freaking out by it, though. I've learned that, you know what? Let the ties roll. Is that the expression? And... Uh, yeah, just whatever. <laughs> just go with the flow. Um, that's it. Let me check my little list. All right. Next week, also, I'm going to have um, Authors After Dark feature, my feature post, which is um, there was, well, last time I spoke to Stella over the email, there was 67 spots left. That's it. Only 67 spots left for Authors After Dark in New Orleans this August. And um, they have a contest going on. That you can win next year, like a registration to next year's uh, Author After Dark, which is going on in uh, Savannah, Georgia, and a whole bunch of prizes. I believe they're all for this year. So um, now's the chance if you haven't, you know, if you're on the fence about whether or not you want to go and you want to go, um, now's the chance to, to register because a spaces are going quick and b, um, hey, good prizes and stuff. So I'll be doing a, a post about Authors After Dark, Authors After Dark next Thursday. I've never been. So I had to enlist the help of some other people. <laughs> I'm good for that. Again, I'm going to be like blocked on a whole bunch of different emails. But I got a few friends that went last year and bloggers and um, authors. So I asked what their favorite parts was and that kind of thing. So that's what we're working on. I don't know what it's going to be when it all comes together. But yeah, that's what's going to work. So that's that weekend-wise. Um, uh, tomorrow we're going to visit my family. And... Uh, the next day, I'm staying home doing laundry and stuff. My daughter has a birthday party. And that's it. So it should be a pretty, just a quiet, relaxing weekend, which would be good. And, um, yeah, that's all. So, uh, yeah, I've done my blog. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so, 
So whatever you guys are up to this weekend, have a safe and happy weekend, and I'll see you all next week. That's on Twitter.